right. I hope everybody is uh, uh, strapped into the stream. Uh, I hope you're all uh, good and comfortable uh, because, you know, you might have noticed that we mix missed the last few exits that we were supposed to go down to for stream. Uh, so now that we're past the opening uh, song, I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kidnapping everybody watching this stream. Uh, we're, we're taking this proverbial bus uh, down to Toei headquarters uh, against your will so that we can uh, boycott them for not releasing the main theme of the newest Common Rider, Common Rider Geats until February. Uh, that is an insult to me. I'm pretty sure they didn't take uh, that long to get uh, Live Devil out. Um, well, I mean, we got to go to... Look, I'm not normally around Toei. I'm not normally around Toei. I'm not normally buying their products, so I've got to go down and physically show them that I'm here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, and of course, as we all know, uh, if you leave the stream midstream, uh, you will die. We are going 80 miles per hour. Uh, I will probably go to jail for reckless endangerment, but uh, do you want to lose your life before that happens? I don't think you do. Uh, we are going very fast. You will break your neck. Uh, so anyway, though, you know what would prevent this scenario completely? Well, nothing. But if something could almost get to that point, a rotating limo. Th this is me trying to pivot to the thing I'm actually doing tonight. We're not actually going down to Toei. No boycott, no protests. Just, uh, just gonna play some Roundabout by No Goblin, uh, which is a puzzle game where you're playing in a rotating limo. You want to know what that means? Gonna see it in a sec. So let's just let's bring up this screen and then I'm gonna bring up Roundabout. And then I'm going to check audio levels because I don't know what they no are. Goblin. None whatsoever. I hope you weren't looking forward to goblins because that's the one thing that's not gonna be in this stream. Okay, good. Does know I'm using a controller. I did need to start a save file in order to tell the game Hey, I don't want to run this at full screen. Uh, so it's, you know, here it is. 0.0%. I didn't actually do anything. All I did was settings. Here we go. This is as much as I've seen. And that's right. Subtitles, they're on. I've done that for you. I'm sure you want to see this. Dang. Look at those system settings. Anyway, let's start the game. Ah, the city of Roundabout. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, if you, you don't, might notice you'll that perish. things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi there, uh, Gio Rigio Manus? Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. And I'm the only one spinning here? Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine test. Everybody else is test, faking it. So You're not just spinning. keep it straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See. There's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's in circles. Giorgio never stopped moving. Yeah. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin instead of fighting him. Alright. Very, very powerful. Uh, as we all know from JoJo, uh, you gotta be able to spin. Uh, that's the ultimate technique. Unbeatable. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, so I've killed a few people, but it's all part of the driving test. But against everything else, I don't think I hit that fence. Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. All right, didn't explode in a fiery wreck. 
All right, well, uh, man, I... Dang, seven seconds. You can do this really quickly. Didn't collect every coin either, damn. <sighs> Don't even want to see the leaderboard. I must be so far down there. Anyway, went way better than my actual driving With test. License, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Passengers whoop, whoop, everywhere mm. would experience a true revolution in transportation. But whoop. What I exploded. You know, I didn't explode when taking my driver's test either. I guess you get a lot of style points, right, if you're able to drive like this. All right, let me see if I can do this again. I'm going to skip this part. All right, here I go. Giorgio never stopped revolving. Uh. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move mm. the spin. Haha, <laughs> I don't need that stuff. People, oh, I do need that stuff. Obstacles. I Nothing thought I was being clever. Well, egg on my face. I guess I'm really just doing this to kill people then. You know. Well, I guess you... With a limo license. Yep, same thing. Alright. everywhere would experience a true revolution transportation but at what cost at what cost um many human lives it seems all right you better ride this limo or else all right well then we've got a whole lot of stuff we could explore can't go down there because there's cars blocking the way but there's a mission right here so let's do this one the name's mickey mickey the mechanic I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can that should be a good more? thing. Need a ride to my shop down the block. All right, here I go. Got to move with the spin. Mm -hmm. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. I feel like that's the only way to experience it maybe. This this is the future of transportation. Uh, mm -hmm. Get the hang of it. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? I'm the only one doing this, so I feel like I have if to be pro. If you ever take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. All the way to the top? Okay, okay. Where is that it's even if I'm the only one doing this? Weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. Alright, so it said I can press... Oh. Finished in under 30 seconds. I didn't keep a streak going for the whole ride. Could have used upgrades. Didn't hit anything. But I didn't explode. I will call Jim Carter, don't you? Okay, so that's basically just slow-mo. I can just feel the turn itself. Turtle power. <laughs> I, I don't think that's normally what you do. I don't think you normally spin when you're a hero in a half shell, but okay. But it does seem like I get a better score if I don't use powers. <laughs> okay, so I've got to murder a lot more people if I want to get whatever this is. I'm, I'm glad I'm encouraged to do this. Can't get this until I finish the game. Gotta destroy more traffic cones. Bounce off 100 stacks of spring tires. Sounds like something Sonic would do. Alright, so. What's this mission over here? Hello, children. Child Hi, singular. Driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanic, and my kid is hey, late. Don't call him school. dumb. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Don't call him mechanic dumb. I like that guy. <laughs> All right. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the kids approve of whatever I'm doing. To get these pint-sized pals to school. Oh no! Oh. oh no! I've exploded. Curses. Whoop! 
These trees have my number. The game had me had to put me past them. I just couldn't defeat them. I'm severely disappointing these children, dying repeatedly in a fiery wreck. Can we keep going, please? please? Legally, I don't think so. Morally, probably not. Alright, managed to get a 65. Cause I didn't use an upgrade. Everybody probably would have been a lot happier if I did. But I didn't. Alright, well, this game is leading me uh, between areas. Oh. Well, you just ran into me. That one's on you. I'm heading to the school's baseball field. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Huh, multi-talented. Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. They never do. Kids these days. So lazy. Oop. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Oop, oop. Priorities, am I right? Oop. My priority is, should be not doing that. So this seems to be a classic nature versus technology storyline. Uh, however, nature is the villain in this one. It's uncommon, but it can happen. Sometimes nature is just a bastard, and it'll blow you up repeatedly. I, I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, Charlatans. Yes. Listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. See this chauffeur here? <laughs> oh, don't involve Here's me in this. Who can play better baseball than you? Show him. <laughs> well, if I'm getting paid. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Second. Bring it home. Yeah, you want to tag this out? You want to stop me? See, I'm basically the best baseball player because who's going to start stop me once I start running, hmm? Nobody, that's who. When I want to go to second, I go to second. Alright, but I gotta stop exploding in fiery wrecks. It's really bad for my performance. Giorgio, the school's demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. You seem like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? I mean, my sport is normally just spinning. But okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. Simple enough. Oh. Oh no. Oh. 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 That counted. That counted. <laughs> Eight hole bounces. Uh, apparently. Hmm. Well, you know what? Alright. I'm definitely not getting the world record. But Jeff's going down. <laughs> get past 10 bounces. There we go, 11 bounces. I've done it. 12 whole bounces, there we go. <laughs> Out of what few friends I have on Steam, I'm the best. I'm rank 4,864. Alright, seems like 12 bounces is it for a while. 
So if I could get to 13, I would rock it up. Oh, uh, there we go. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so... 4808 would be mine. But, uh, I'll go easy on everyone else. Alright, what's the house mean? Alright, well, I guess the house doesn't really mean much. Ooh, half-decent appliances. That's a lot of better than what you can get normally. Alright, date guy, my favorite Mario character. Here, my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh, gosh. Alright, well, don't be nervous. We're going to spin around repeatedly. Until we get there. Oh, I'll also kill hours. several people on the way. Oop. <sighs> See, I'm terrible at getting into the smaller spaces. Mm. There we go. Oh, mm, oh, no. Made a mistake. Ah, oh, 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 mm. An attempted assassination, I see. Hi. Uh, let's, let's go, driver. You need more inspiring words than that. So... Like movies? Yeah, movies are okay. Do you like movies? Yeah, I love movies. What about you? Uh. Is this music? I like that. Thanks. Oh. So, do I pay you now or later, or do I? Oh. Thanks, Giorgio. <laughs> That's the kind of service you get from Giorgio. Drive us to the driving theater. Damn it, Steve. Alright, now I have to escape this parking lot. Oof. Could be difficult. Alright, just gotta, just gotta understand the spin. Just gotta keep going. Okay. Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. The little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio. I have no context for any of that, but whatever. Okay. No, oh, I could upgrade my look. I literally cannot stop. I'll probably be spinning even when I quit the game. Didn't explode. You are just the bee's knees. Thank you so much. Hey, so I'm only in town for a little bit, but I could sure use a groovy driver like you to show me around. And hey, having somebody in uniform take me for a spin around town would be a pretty groovy bonus, right? kind of cryptic message is that? Alright, I got a 75. Didn't keep the streak going. Oh darn. Damn, just 20 seconds. You can do this fast if you're really good. Didn't collect every coin either. So anyway, I have to go to a purple wrench if I want to upgrade my limo. I can pick up a priest. Uh... Might as well keep going. Oh, bless you, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. Is it all the people I've killed? I am meant to be joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him post haste. Oh, I knew this would be a bad one. 
This gentleman seemed disreputable. Such a shame. The bride is such a peach. Uh, 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 mm. Darn. Sorry about that. I think I see him. I don't think this is normally the job of the priest. We got it. Head back to the church. Then again, most limos don't spin, so I guess we're all doing weird jobs, huh? Well, thank you, my son. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia. And it's all thanks to us. No, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I drop this wreck off in front of the church, and you drop me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? Oh, don't give me that judgmental stare. Would you marry these two if you were in my shoes? I mean, you went to the trouble of fetching him. You might as well. Oh, okay. Well, I had a good run, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, service is over. I have ignored my duties. In fact, I've act actively gone against them. I must leave town before God smites me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gotta do some careful maneuvering. Well, what's done is done. Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Good luck to you, Giorgio. This is just like the game over in Trauma Center where, like, if you fuck up one time, uh, he just fucking quits. <laughs> you just make one mistake and it's like, alright, my medical career is over. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I think most people would understand if you made a mistake when you're dealing with a fucking super virus that actively fights you when you're trying to do an operation, but no. You're just such a dedicated doctor that if you mess up even once, it's over. Alright, oh, there's a star right over here. Bonjour, Giorgio. No, no, I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. I have heard stories about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. Care to show me your magics? I've been getting like solid 75s on my report. Really? Where did you come up with such a novel idea? Oh, that was a tree. I don't know why I thought I could pass that tree. I should know by now that trees are my foes. All of them. Whoop. This is a tutorial all along. Had to hit the tires. Whoop. Mm -hmm. There we go. Whoop, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably shouldn't have hit those tires. Whoop. Well, that was unfortunate. Okay, now I should hit the tires. Ooh, mm. There we go. I had to let the coins guide me. Is the running over of the pedestrian good or bad? Um, I think it's a wash. You're the first person to actually point out that that happens, so... I don't think anybody has a problem with it exactly. Can't really say one way or the other. I mean, the priest didn't shout at me for it, so... I assume it can't be the worst thing I can do. But I'm doing a very job of not blowing up. There we go, see? Gotta go a different direction. Ho oh, oh. that was all the information I needed, my foolish friend. I'm oh no. Chauffeur. Of course, it is brilliant. I'll be a celebrity. My gift to you, Giorgio, is that when I take over the world as the best revolving limousine driver, I will crush your 
precious limousine last. Oh no. Solo. But I'm the only other one. <laughs> Damn it. Can't believe Psychoda Psychedelic Eyeball took my combat data. Well, that sounds like a problem I'll have to worry about later. Alright, so I can give my limousine hats, I guess. I get ad space. I mean, this one's just smart. Hot dog dad, moving day. Absolutely not. Ah, dang, I haven't discovered any horns whatsoever. I wonder if that's specifically a Monkey Island reference. Or, you know, if it- if Stan's just a common fucking sleazy salesman name. I suppose I'd have to buy this and see if, like, the pattern is kind of like- it just stays. So, like, when I move it goes to different parts of the pattern. <laughs> oh god, that- mmm. This is challenge mode right here. Hey, do you want to play without being able to see yourself, except for your tires? Oh god, I'm- I'm already blowing up far too much as it is. I- I can't- like, this one's medium mode. This one's- you- you can kind of see yourself. Hmm. <laughs> No, I kind of just like the, uh, basic color scheme the best. Well, anyway. So that's one I've been to before. Is there a map? Alright, so let's see. It's pointing out the, uh, the star over there on the other side of this river. So it seems that's the one it wants me to do next. <laughs> Is there any way to, like, check the map? Not particularly. Okay, oh. Okay, so there's another spinning car, so... At the very least, that's a buffer. Psychedelic so Eyeball will not kill me immediately. Oh, I could buy this bridge? Okay, sure. I don't know how that helps me, but alright. Alright, Charles Maximilian. Well, that's fancy. Charles Maximilian for Giorgio Manos. Please hold. Well, that's catchy. Hello there, my chatty chauffeur. I have a task that I need attending to in my suburban getaway. I do it myself, but I'm stuck in the city attending these blasted meetings. If you could pop by and take care of a few things. Everyone here at Maximilian Enterprises would be most grateful. Alright, but you better not be collecting my combat data. I'll be mad if another person tries to do that. I've already got one rival. I don't need another. I don't even want this one in the first place. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. Well, our animal over, so... Does that, does that please you? Do you like that? Alright, my problem before is I actually didn't notice the rock somehow. That was my mistake. I will not make it again. Jet. <laughs> I knew that was gonna go bad the moment I started doing it, but I was in motion. I'll be taking that. I'll be exploding. Oof, all the way back over here. Oof. Mm. 
It was for money. I think you'd understand. I had to explode that time. It was for stacks of cash. There we go. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, no half measures, buddy. Know exactly what you want. Fantastic. See? Told ya. If you were ever in the city of Roundabout, stop by my fantastic tower and say hello. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. 63. Apparently there are tire springs I could have used. That might have helped. Ah, well. Alright, so where to next? There's Blue Star to the west, or a Gold Star near me. Purchase the thing up here, and also, what does purchasing stuff even do? I've got thirty dollars to spare. Man, this place is cheap. Thankfully, the paperwork's easy too. Mm -hmm. All right, who needs me now? Oh, it's Beth again. But can it fit a limo? I don't think I can leave this thing, ever. I missed coins. Whoops. Oh well. Yeah, lucky me or we'd be exploding. Which is not typically how most people spend their dates, I don't think. I think most people are against explo- oh, yeah, well. I ruined it. I ruined the date. I exploded. Now Beth's never gonna call me back. So, Alright, I'm gonna go into Reddit. Am I the asshole for repeatedly exploding my limo in the mall on a date? Date said it was bad form. I said everybody makes mistakes. She kept judging me. Wouldn't stop. Oop. Mm. Alright, well, hopefully you uh, like relaxing while rotating. Because that's what I do. Duck. I love this place. Ducks. Trees. <sighs> I feel like I can really be myself here. Thanks so much, Giorgio. You're... You're real special. Call me soon, okay? I mean, I guess it's good that the, uh, you know, rampant pedestrian murder is an off-putting. I would have thought it would be, but most people are just really into the spinning. Oh my goodness, you've come at just the right time. Shh. Look, it's an incredibly rare straight lurping hover eagle. I don't see that eagle seen it hovering. In years. Quick, we need to tag it before something bad happens. Follow that eagle. 
I've done a terrible job. Oh, but the eagle will actually just reset for me. Thank you. Oh. I probably should hit... I keep seeing the tires as an obstacle. I'm just like, oh, I shouldn't hit those. My god, look at that majesty. What a noble creature. Noble and smart enough not to fuck with this. Gonna get over oh, okay. Eagle went straight ahead. I have to sound solve this bounce puzzle. Oh, I can do that. The only way. See this majestic eagle? You can't get this majestic eagle. You get out of here. You stood there because you knew you were doing wrong. Okay, I think that does it. Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Wow. <laughs> it's a Thank pretty you, good bird. Mario. The Parks Department and Nature thanks me. I don't think Nature does thank me. I mean, the trees aren't thanking me. The trees will continue trying to kill me. Oh, That's all they do. I don't trust these trees. Yeah. Alright, there's a Swedish tourist Hola, here. Driver. Please to take me to the soccer Chris. Yes, yes, you got it. Let us go, in, Georgie. Well, I mean, I guess the game will tell me where to go. <laughs> Alright, look, I've just got a sixth sense on where I need to go at all times. What? That's how you be a good driver. Think Georgia would have this job if she couldn't just sense where you need to go? I mean, I can't do that, but I'm also not a limo driver. There's definitely a correlation there. Thankfully, it checkpointed me here. Whoop. Mm. <sighs> Just couldn't nail that one. Oh, because there's, there's tires here. No, want to go the other way? Gotta look out for the tires. The tires are my key to success. Oh, hey, hey, this is still not right. Are you playing a joke at me, Georgie? Oscar, miss. Oh, oh. Are there tires around here? Must be tires around here. That must be my problem. My only problem. The only problem I have is a lack of tires. There you go. Didn't need the tiger, the uh, tires. I was in the direct, correct direction all along. If I could speak. Yeah, yeah, the soccer grass. Thanks to you, Georgie. All right. First person with attitude. But you know, they can't all be winning customers. Sometimes they're just a bit rude. Alright, so, what's that optional thing down there? Well, this isn't how you get to it. That's how you perish horribly. My mistake. Oh. Had to go to the repair shop for that one. Alright, the Great Hunt Challenge. Ah, it's splendiferous, my dear turning pal. This area is perfect for Maximilian Development's next project. Do be a friend and find a good place to break ground, would you? Alright, well... 
Not sure I like helping the rich, but okay. Oops. Ah. This was where I need to be? I don't actually know what I'm looking for is part of the problem. It's slowing down. Alright, speeding up. <sighs> slowing down again, jeez. I'm gonna find something. Up the hill, I guess? Look, I'm but a humble limo driver. I think I need a few more details about what I'm looking for. Challenge complete! You did nothing! Alright, let's try again. It's like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I get this is hot and cold, but like... What do I do when I find the thing? Okay, so it's just a, uh, circle. Gotcha. Well, damn. Does this get me any closer to where I need to be? There we go. Now should I- oh, damn it. Uh, I got cocky. Ah, got cocky and it sent me over here. So I'm, I think I can probably get it, right? No, there we go. Do it all. Okay, now if I explode, will it bring me closer? Am I speed running? Getting hotter. All right, pro speed running tip: exploding can only improve your situation. All right, cross the baseball field. Good shortcut. Good shortcut. Good hustle. All right. Oh, I see it. Maybe this will help. Oh wait, no, the... yeah, the repair shop's right next to me. It will not, in fact, help. Ah, uh, it's not hot, it's cold. It's not yes, it's no. It's not in, it's out. It's not up, it's down. Alright, yeah, at this point I'm not getting it, so I found exactly four. I'm just gonna spin in place until this is done. Give myself a bit of rotating time. Alright, personal best, four found. Jeff didn't even play that one. Okay, so, um... I think the game would tell me if I unlocked a uh, new ability, so... Oh. It's this one that has befuddled me, so... Alright, I think it would tell me if I unlocked stuff, so yeah. Killed a lot of people, but nowhere near enough. Need to run into more cones. Where am I even going? I can buy something down there, maybe. Out here buying property. Psychedelic eyeball gonna do psychedelic eyeball gonna do about that. Didn't even pronounce his name right. 
disrespect I'm putting on that one. Alright, so let's see. Blue star over the... How far is... Oh, that's all the way over there. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for the gold one first. That one might bring me closer. Oh, that's the parking lot. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> you are indeed walking here. Can't deny that. Oh, Beth again. Hey! I'm glad you could pick me up. Could you give me a ride to the bus depot? Aw, sure, Dio. I know. It's hard for me to go home, too. But we can have this one last ride together. At least for now. Let's go, Giorgio. Alright, gotta go to the bus depot. Again. Well, if you run into a disgraced priest, tell him I said hi. I was a good duck. Oof. Gotta make sure I can do this right. There we go. Don't get stuck over the- oh, mm, Almost got me. He's already set up. God, things happen so quickly around here. <laughs> Don't know if I want to visit, though, if he's yeah, going to be there. Nah, the eh, I'll skip the coins. You know, you could come with me and move to the city. But I have I property mean, here, though. I'm sure swell in the big city, and I... Well... Kind of selfish, but I really just like to have you all to myself all the time. Not doable. Got a business. If you ever change your mind, give me a call. I'll be waiting, at least for a while. What's a while and roundabout, though? Could be no time whatsoever. Could be like two minutes from now. Things happen so quickly. My rival's already set up shop in the city. I could pick up Mickey again. Uh, how close am I to the other? Oh, I'm way far away. Kid, you're a sight for sore eyes. Does this mean what I think it means? I don't know what you think it means. Fantastic. Well, kid, I think it's time we moved on to some bigger fish. Let me show you the way into the city. But what about all the friends I've made along the way? Just gonna have to abandon them? Alright, well, maybe buildings will be kinder than trees. Trees really haven't been kind. In fact, I think they have it out for me. I would say they may even despise me. City, kid. Fast streets, fat businessman wallets. I'm telling you, it's easy street. I do you like easies in streets. Oh, mm, did not have the right spin on that at all. It was even worse there. Alright. Oh, and that's a moving car. Didn't even know that. And you're probably a moving car too. No? Okay, so... This is like Koopa shells. You gotta know, to know the difference between the green ones and the red ones. Green ones don't move. The red oh, yeah. ones do. Oh. The highway construction. Kid, it's time to break some rules. What? Ready to take your driving to another level? I guess so. I have to be. I've got to. I've got to jump. Could I do that all along? Was that power inside me this whole time? Nice work. Are you going now, to the city this though? Last step is all up to you. Just okay. drive through that tunnel to Roundabout City. Once you get through, come meet up with me. We'll take on this town together. All right. I guess he's also moving to the city. Ah, I thought I would get closer to that, uh, top of town blue star, not farther away. But there are three more challenges on this map, so you know what? Alright, I'm sorry. 
We could, uh, I guess, reverse Midgard here. Midgar, rather. <laughs> Instead of breaking into the city, or breaking out of the city, we're breaking into the city. <laughs> I do like the subtlety of not again. It's <laughs> very... You know, I thought I was only going to get run over by a spinning limousine one time. Eh, I could buy them all, yeah. Apparently it only costs $15. Well, that's just electric sounds. Let's see. There we go. Alright, so what are those cha- Oh, hold on a sec. Sick jump! <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you for acknowledging my sick jump. Maybe that's what I've been missing all this time, was just- Oh! No, that killed me. That is not, in fact, always the thing you want to do. a stack of cash over there and I want it but I can't have it because I keep exploding like a scrub here we go whoops oh dear I like how the overworld is far more cruel than the actual missions you screw up in a mission yeah sure whatever Screw up on the overworld, you go, like, an entire block back. Alright, uh, round trip challenge, you say? Well, the kids are telling me to. Can't not drive around town, then. Alright, well, we are going to explode repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Ah, damn. Tried to be impressive and I exploded instead. Thoroughly unimpressive. Alright, let's try this again. Apparently I've been killing people here. Usually they get the blood out of the road faster. Ah, oh, well. Guess I also ran over the cleanup crew. These things happen sometimes. Jump, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Feel bad for that guy. Really not being... Really was not into being run over by a limo today. It's quite against it. Trees, very tricky, very tricky. Oh, mm, mm. oh, hey, that blended in. I've gotten that way earlier. Hmm. Yeah. Round and up. Oh, oh dear. Was not killed miraculously. Also, how do I get through that one? Oh, by going this way. Alright. So that's a very high building. Is my jump better than I think it is, or is my jump going to get better later? I don't really want to try it now. Because I'm already- oh jeez, I'm already wasting enough time for being bad. I 
don't want to try to... Oh, no, I can get up to the roof pretty easily. Those are low roofs. I just get through here. <sighs> Hubris got me again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. It's fine. It's fine. I got this. I got this. OBS is trying to assassinate me right now, but it's fine. I got this. I don't got this. And that wasn't even on OBS. Sick jump. It's fine. It's fine. It's dead. Oh, fuck. It was not, in fact, fine. Oh, there's a horn over there. I've got to get the horn. And look, at this point, I've already disappointed the children, so... Might as well go for it. How much time could it really waste? <laughs> that was even more terrified this time. Buy a junkyard? Oh, that's cheap. Hell yeah. Thank you, Baza, for giving me your junkyard. Very nice of you. Look, I'm four minutes in. I can slow down if I want. I've already disappointed these kids. I'm the modern day ninja man. Kids hate me. <laughs> We hate you, Giorgio. <laughs> Blank stare. Whoop. Hell yeah. Oh, well. Less hell yeah. Well, that's cheap. And there's a cash pile over here, so I can just replenish my cash anyway. I really don't see why I wouldn't be purchasing all this property. Don't know what it does for me, but I have it now. Mm -hmm. Alright, go this way. Go this way, this is the correct direction. Sick jump. Whoop. Less sick. Come on. Okay, it does seem to be consistently the green cars that don't move. So yeah, it is much like uh, the Koopa shells from Mario. In that the green shells are wimps and the red ones. They know where it's at. Alright, damn, you could do this in 50 seconds? Jeez. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm definitely not doing that one faster. <laughs> I didn't do well at all, and I guess I could do better. I could practice. That is a thing I could do. But I won't. Look, I gotta keep going. We already know that my business model is being stolen as we speak, so like... I can't, I can't just sit around practicing stuff I've already done. I just have to leave it a dis as a disappointment. Oh, I can't take the Destruction Derby Challenge. What, do you think I'm not good enough at destroying? Or is that saying what I need to do? Might have been telling me what I need to do. Alright, so let's see what is to the north. No, no, no. 
I should be the one saying that. I mean, look at all these trees here. I exploded. This is bad for me. All right, I don't think this is the direction I should be going. Now you were running, which is a good idea. You just didn't capitalize on it. All right, up we go to the mountains. Yeah, I think I want to go the other way. Oh, there's a horn right there too. Horn found. <laughs> That's just a pop sound. Brick. I don't really want to be driving through there anyway. That's hazardous. Thankfully, the nearest repair shop is actually pretty close. No. Now, this should be a good direction to go. Yeah, I wanna, wanna go this way. Sick jump! Gotta get all those sick jumps. They're very important. Alright. Ranger Elimination Challenge. Endangered Bird Hunting Committee is back and they're worse than ever. What are they doing? Please help take them out. The fragile suburban ecosystem depends on you, Giorgio. All right, well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Limo side, you have to protect this. Look at this bird. This is what you're fighting for. Now kill dozens of people right now. Are you part of that committee? I don't know. Gonna run you over anyway. Look, anybody right now can be hunting a bird. And we just can't take that risk. Anybody could kill a small flying thing at any point. You ever heard of the butterfly effect? That was the entire point. <laughs> the butterfly effect is when you kill a small thing. Has nothing to do with time travel. They don't know where people get that. Ah, damn it, I missed. Well. I don't think that was was me. I think that person just fell. Mm -hmm. Got him. Oh wow, that's going down really fast. Okay, so after you hit a certain number of people, it just goes down real fast. Well, apparently I'm the best on the leaderboard, but I'm the only person on my friend's leaderboard. Hmm. I don't know if that bird's safe enough. Let's unsafen it further. I'm gonna go this way this time. Walking and killing endangered birds? I've got your number. Oh, I'm also exploding. It's alright. It puts me in the exact position I want to be in. You fool, this is all part of my plan. That wasn't part of my plan. That was me fucking up. Oh, what? No. Part of the plan. Can run over that person. Not really gonna help in the long run, though. Alright. One more attempt to get over the number 12. Let's see if I can overcome 12. Nobody cleaned up the blood over here from the last run. Because that was spilled righteously. It was spilled for the birds. It was a good thing that these people were killed. All these people are threats to the avians. Every single one of them. You might think that's ridiculous, but no. Our hits are going up, therefore, they're against the birds. And this is righteous justice that I'm enacting right now. <sighs> I'm usually so much better at running people over, but I can only get 16. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I can't get that one down there just yet, so I guess I'll go to the city. Now there does seem to be... Oh, right stick, there we go. Okay, that's a different map, though. I can't go wherever that is, but I can go to the second area. See, I'm running over so many people now. Now that was a pretty sick jump. Right? Hmm. Should I really leave the country if I'm, you know, doing this well for myself? Will I get these opportunities for sick jumps in the city? You know how those city folk are. They just don't respect the sick jumps. Whoop! I exploded in midair. But it's fine, it helped me. It got me where I needed to go. Once again, all part of the plan. Construction can't stop me. Don't know why they're even trying. You should let me go to the city if I want to go to the city. Alright. Here we are, in the big city. I've already got advertisements, that's good. I've got a foot in the door. So things aren't quite as bad as they could be. Take the run like crazy challenge. I'd love to, but I can't. There I go, exploding again. Some things never change. Yep, oh, horn. Alright, well, I gotta change that one out as soon as I can. Whoop, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was too desperate for it. What do I even have so far? I'll go for suction cups. It's a fun noise. Alright, so. Blue star. I'm going for it. Alright, killed a couple people. Thankfully. That's not illegal in the city. I was kind of worried. That I was too set in my ways of just kind of running over everybody I came across. And that they'd punish me for that here, but nay. Not how this works at all. Alright, I should probably be jumping more. Why do I keep thinking I'm going to have upgrades? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I was too busy crushing you to death. Didn't hear what you were going to say. Oh, the general. Dear chauffeur, the roundabout military is pleased to advise you of advanced weapons testing occurring in your area within the next 10 seconds. Not being killed by said advanced weaponry would be most appreciated. Love, General SS Bombsworth. Oh, they care about me. How nice. <laughs> Apparently somebody went at this for an entire hour. Well... I probably won't do that. Alright, now do I only fail if I hit a, an exploder, uh, sorry, falling car? Well, that was just bad. Or is it all exploding that's bad? Because look, if I destroy myself, that's one thing. But I guess when f cars are falling from the sky, yeah. 
kind of really can't tell what kind of fatality is what. Oh, okay. I mean, the the falling cars are falling on me. They're falling me this in, damn it, entire time. Yeah, challenge complete. All right, so even if I destroy myself, that still counts as being destroyed. I guess, of course, the logic is in my rush to escape death from above. Uh. I was not cautious, and thus destroyed myself. It is still due to the falling cars that I'm failing in this way. And I mean, that it's not untrue. That is why I'm dying. I just need to find a good path. But the city is just so crowded, it's hard to go anywhere. Here we go. Whoop, ah, damn. Uh, mm, bleh, bleh, no. That's me dead. Curses. Alright, so that, that beat my previous best. But I can do better. I mean, look, we can't all be the people doing this for an hour. I can do better, probably. Look, I'm just looking for a good streak of not exploding. Damn it. That was a bad streak of not exploding. In that I did explode. I've done worse. Much like when I play shmups, I'm actively getting worse at this the more I do it. It's that anti-muscle memory. The more you do the thing, the worse you get at it. me pinned to the ground it did. A cursed falling car. It's a very advanced weapon the army's got. Oh no, I'm on the street. I'm on the street I'm bad at. And yet, I made it to 12 seconds. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that one, I think. Sick jump! Alright, let's just do this and... Uh, mm, perfect. I knew you'd come around, kid. Look, I've got the perfect plan. Just take me to Chinatown and I'll take care of the rest. The rest of what? Driving? Just... just follow the arrow, Giorgio. Yeah, I played plenty of Crazy Man, Taxi. I know how this goes. Else. Gotta get that cash stack. Just up here in the alley, kid. Ah, dang. Couldn't even jump over that one. The walls were too close together. Would you just watch that nice one. You <laughs> and me, kid, we're gonna go far. Stick with me, and this city will be yours inside of a week. Leo! What's a week? <laughs> I've got a job that only your hands are good for. What is a week in this world? I don't know. Anyway, that chick sticker shop was very expensive. But there's more cash here, so it's fine. 
All right. Oh, new person. Let's get going. I've got to get to City Hall. It's a matter of life and death. Go. Again? You look like you're armed. Armed for a good time, that is. All right. Well, I don't know what you could possibly be doing at City Hall. That seems like you're on the up and up. What are you, a fucking Square Enix character? Just say a thing and mean it, damn it. Alright, well, we've got confirmation that City Hall. Perfect. Let's do this. What are we doing? Scene of a crime. Alright, well, apparently she did a crime, but I'm just the driver. The driver's innocent in all this. Can't convict me. Look, I might be complicit, but I've done a lot more murder. So you can't much. catch me. You've been incompetent up until good. this point. I'm pretty sure that excuse works in court. You guys have sucked so badly up until this point. You'll we'll just be like, ah, damn, you're right. You can't send her to jail. Because we haven't so far. Almost got to it. But back here I go. Alright, could you just like take your limo shop a little closer to this star over here? Ah, dang, that fence is fucking me up. Can't take on that fence. Alright, but if you just take your limo shop, this, or the, the repair shop, a little closer... Then I can get to that blue star. I might have to take the other street. That damn. <laughs> it's very tricky to get over there. Oh, there is a closer repair shop, though. Oh no. I was wondering how that didn't kill me up until that point. Caught up with me, though. Giorgio. All right. The good news is that we're finally about to hit back with the establishment by blowing up this corporate art. That is good news. The bad news is that the timer on the explosion goes off in 30 seconds. Hurry, we've got to get as far away as possible. I mean, I don't think we have to be that far away, so... Ah, I feel like 50 yards is good enough. Whoops. I just have to not explode. Because that'll probably send me back. Don't want that. Alright, good enough. Uh, hey, I'm number 2603. You don't mess with me. I'm almost below the 2600s. It's uh, pretty impressive around these parts, I must say. I must say it because, you know, I have no other way of, you know, having dignity in this world. I would feel not but shame if that was not an accomplishment. Darn. 
Oh, that's close by, though. No problem. Uh. I do really like taking those roundabouts, though. <laughs> those do feel really good. You know, when it feels like you're driving like a normal car. Ah, hello again, my revolving fellow. I'm late for my inspection of the Maximilian Tower's construction site. Chop chop. You actually inspect things yourself? That sounds highly unrealistic. You're not doing a laundering while you're here, are you? Oh, oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> I fricked it. I do really appreciate, though, that there is actually platforming. Splendidly. I can't even see what that blasted mayor disliked. To the alley, Jeeves. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> you wouldn't think a game about a limousine would have a platforming challenge, but it does. Ah, oh, Mr. Mayor, thank you for your discretion. This whole construction fatalities matter. I'm sure this fine suitcase will set things straight. Onward, okay. Steve's. It's time for a well-earned vacation on my yacht. <laughs> so not laundering, but certainly illicit activities. Uh, West Roundabout is so gaudy. I barely can stand passing through. Thank you kindly, Jeeves. I'll just wait here for my yacht. Tally ho, tip tip, cha-cha, and all that. Oh no! <laughs> I fell to the sea. Okay, but can I buy that property? Let's see. Alright, hell yeah, that's my peer now. What are you gonna do about it, Maximilian? Fucking nothing, that's what. And I'm going to explode. Probably not going to do anything about that either. Alright, hey, it's Beth again. Hey, you! Oh, I'm so happy you made it out to the city. As am I, Giorgio. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Why are you at the beach? Is this that Ronaldo guy that you were telling me about? I thought you told me him about him. You didn't hear what I'm saying. None of that's important right now, young. What is important is that your revolving amour is trespassing on Ronaldo country. No, I have an ad here. Giorgio invented revolving. You think stealing it is going to achieve anything? You'll never be as good as Giorgio. Oh, oh, I'm already the best, and I'll prove it. Just try and beat me to upper roundabout. Oh no, I have to do well? Uproarious. I don't know about uproarious, but uh... All right. Well, don't know how well I'll be able to do, but I'll I'll try. Let's try to drop cars on me. Well, I mean, I guess we have to be menaces in some capacity. While the pedestrian right of way laws may be lax around about. Someone's car is <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you for the answer there. It is, in fact, bad for him to be doing this. I've gotten killed so many times. See, you are wasting your time here, Giorgio. Go back to the baby merry-go-rounds of the suburbs. And leave us grown adults alone. Ronaldo, over and out. It's okay. We made it here alive. Just kind of. Hang in there, okay? Don't don't do anything rash. You got this. <laughs> Does this okay. look like the face of a person who won't do anything rash? You got this. <laughs> That's what I think about Ronaldo. Hey oh. you! Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so is it possible to do well enough to get him. Can I beat him? The destination. Uh, 
It's not, as the narr narrator will tell us in a moment. I mean, there's not a timer, so I feel like... Probably can't beat Ronaldo there. Yeah, he, he's just there. So that's a, that's a story beat. We have to fail in this chapter. Gives us a reason for vengeance, I guess. We'll have to avenge ourselves against Ronaldo for showing us up while Beth was right there. I mean, we're just gonna probably hang out at the beach, I guess. Just gonna spin for a bit at the beach. Maybe kill a few pedestrians, but no. Psychedelic Kaibal just showed up and fucking ruined it. With his own revolving limo. Alright, well, anyway, though. I do think that's a good point to leave off, though. We have been shown up! How terrible. How awful. <sighs> Don't know what I'm gonna do about that, except just keep spinning. Not really much you can do in this situation. Oh well. Ronaldo will go to jail eventually for his rampant car destruction. But would that really be a satisfying ending? We should probably defeat him in a race before he goes to jail. Otherwise, he's the real winner here. He'll have won. He'll have done better at us at being in a revolving limo. And you can't have that. But we're going to have to continue this challenge next week, next Tuesday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time, when we continue Roundabout. Uh, other than that, though, hey, uh, if you like Roundabout, you'll probably like Dragon Ball Xenoverse. They're basically the same things, right? One's about a revolving limo, the other is about uh, beating up other Dragon Ball characters as your own OC. Uh, I fail to see how they're that different at all. They're not. They're basically exactly the same. Uh, regardless, though, <laughs> while I keep doing these perfect donuts, uh, I'll also tell you that that stream takes place uh, Thursday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and then, of course, is, is Valkyrie Profile, another game that's basically exactly like Roundabout. Jeez, I'm playing such similar games at the same time. Uh, Valkyrie Profile is an RPG where you play as a Valkyrie and she collects up ghosts uh, so that the ghost's blood can be stolen by random monsters. Uh, so I'm going to be playing that on Saturday, 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. I, I, I do apologize, you know, I, I normally pride myself as a variety streamer, but like, I don't know, these are all basically the same game I'm playing right now. It's just pretty much exactly the same thing. Uh, I'll do better in the future, but I don't know. A lot of games are kind of like Roundabout, though. Just finished Scarlet Hollow Episode 4, and that's basically Roundabout 2. It's all just Roundabout, really. Ah, well. Regardless, that that's the, the, the stream stuff, but then I remembered, oh right, I also have other uh, things I do. Uh, you can check out the VODs on Fefner Moss Mune on YouTube. But hey, guess what? You know what else I do on YouTube? LPs. Uh, Mega Man's on break for the rest of the year, because I finished the classic series, and it's a good point to leave off for a few weeks. But I'll be back soon enough with the X series. And also, perhaps, Mega Man X The Day of Sigma. Uh, though that, I might do that on Christmas. Uh, other than that, though, Shantae Risky's Revenge should be back soon. Not this week, because... I did not like uh, the, the take I did. Also, maybe not next week either, because I'm not going to be in at 10, so that might be something to consider. It'll be back soon, though. I'm almost at the end of it. Just got to record the last episode, but otherwise I've got all the, all the raw footage ready. And then, of course, Friday is Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. And then if you want to support me, you can do so through Patreon or Coffee. I'm Pfeffer on both those sites, but you can find the links easily enough in the Twitch bio, or the YouTube banner, or underneath the YouTube videos. Alright, well, I would be, like, moving around and exploding a lot, but honestly, just doing perfect donuts is kind of the perfect place to leave off. 
There's something so incredibly satisfying about those skid marks. You can just make perfect circle skid marks. We finally done it. We found the infinite rotation. It's this is it, perpetual motion right here. Anyway, have a good night, y'all. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.